Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday 16th of November 2022. This service is part of the online prayer ministry of Christ Church Cathedral, Newcastle. My name is Catherine Bowyer. I'm the Dean of Newcastle and the parish of Christ Church Cathedral includes Christ Church Cathedral and the deanery where I'm recording this service, which stand on Wabakal and Warramai land, and St Peter's Hamilton, which is on Wabakal land. I pay my respects to Elders past and present and pray that I, with the Cathedral and St Peter's communities, may join with all First Nations people in a spirit of reconciliation, in learning from them and listening to wisdom, being aware that the ground on which we walk is holy and caring for all that God has entrusted to us in the good gifts of creation. Today the Church gives thanks for the witness of Margaret of Scotland. Born in the year 1046, Margaret was the daughter of the Anglo-Saxon Royal House of England, but educated in Hungary where her family lived in exile during the reign of the Danish kings in England. After the Norman invasion in 1066, when her royal person still was a threat to the new monarchy, she was welcomed in the royal court of Malcolm III of Scotland and soon afterwards married him in 1069. Theirs was a happy and fruitful union and Margaret proved to be both a civilising and a holy presence. She instituted many church reforms and founded many monasteries, churches and pilgrim hostels. She was a woman of prayer as well as good works who seemed to have influenced for good all with whom she came into contact. She died on this day in the year 1093. Wednesday morning prayer can be found on page 401 or following along in the ePray app, which you can download from the app store on your device. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 38 and our reading Revelation chapter 8. In the name of the one true God who is known to us as the creator, the redeemer and the sanctifier of the world. Amen. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, a song of God's grace. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus, with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children, through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 38 on page 260. Psalm 38. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor chasten me in your fierce displeasure. For your arrows have been aimed against me, and your hand has come down heavy upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation, nor soundness in my bones by reason of my sin. The tide of my iniquities has gone over my head. Their weight is a burden too heavy for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester because of my foolishness. I am bowed down and brought so low that I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a burning pain and there is no sound part in all my body. I am numbed and stricken to the ground. I cry aloud in the yearning of my heart. O Lord, all I long for is before you. And my deep sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is in tumult, my strength fails me, and even the light of my eyes has gone from me. My friends and my companions hold aloof from my affliction, 
and my neighbours stand far off. Those who seek my life strike at me, and those that desire my hurt spread evil tales and murmur slanders all the day. But I am like one who is deaf and hears nothing, like those that are dumb who do not open their mouths. So I have become as one who cannot hear, in whose mouth there is no retort. For in you, Lord, have I put my trust, and you will answer me, O Lord my God. For I prayed, let them never exult over me, those who turn arrogant when my foot slips. Truly I am ready to fall, and my pain is with me continually. But I acknowledge my wickedness, and I am filled with sorrow at my sin. Those that are my enemies without cause are great in number, and those who hate me wrongfully are many. Those also who repay evil for good are against me, because I seek after good. Forsake me not, O Lord. Go not far from me, my God. Hasten to my help, O Lord, my salvation. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well-pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 8. When the Lamb opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. Another angel with a gold censer came and stood at the altar. He was given a great quantity of incense to offer with the prayers of all the saints on the golden altar that is before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints rose before God from the hand of the angel. Then the angel took the censer and filled it with fire from the altar and threw it on the earth. And there were peals of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning and an earthquake. Now the seven angels who had the seven trumpets made ready to blow them. The first angel blew his trumpet and there came hail and fire mixed with blood and they were hurled to the earth. And a third of the earth was burned up and a third of the trees were burned up and all the green grass was burned up. The second angel blew his trumpet and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea. A third of the sea became blood, a third of the living creatures in the sea died and a third of the ships were destroyed. The third angel blew his trumpet and a great star fell from heaven blazing like a torch and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood, and many died from the water because it was bitter. The fourth angel blew his trumpet, and a third of the sun was struck, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of their light was darkened. A third of the day was kept from shining, and likewise the night. Then I looked, and I heard an eagle crying with a loud voice as it flew in mid-heaven. Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth at the blasts of the other trumpets that the three angels are about to blow. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our canticle Te Deum Laudamus. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army, the white -robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death 
and open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God, the ruler of all, you called your servant Margaret to an earthly throne and gave her zeal for your church and love for your people, that she might advance your heavenly kingdom. Mercifully grant that we who commemorate her example may be fruitful in good works and attain to the glorious crown of your saints. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Awaken to us your glory. Dispel the darkness of night. Destroy the heaviness of heart. Cure the blindness of sight. Heal the deafness of ears. Open the mouth that is dumb. Restore a gentleness of touch. Encourage a sense of adventure. Bring us an awareness of you. Awaken us to your glory. In working hands, glory to the Father. In words of mouth, glory to the Saviour. In thoughts of hearts, glory to the Spirit. Glory three, glory one, glory evermore. Amen. God of all faithfulness, we pray for this day as it unfolds before us, knowing that you are there in the unfolding. We pray for those for whom this day water is not life-giving. We pray for those surrounded by flood waters. We pray for emergency services. We pray for those who wonder what they will face when they return home. We pray for the islands of the South Pacific, for the islands of the Torres Strait, for those of our near neighbours and on our own coastlines experiencing change due to climate. We pray for wisdom from leaders at COP27 and GS20. We pray for those this day who will struggle to see, to hear, to speak, to know your glory. May your holy angels enfold them and give them peace.
Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen.